Hello friends, I am Navin from WP Help Guide. Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create and add menu to your WordPress site. I will show you how you can add categories, tags, posts and pages to the menu. Besides that, you will learn how to add custom links, arrange your menu items, create a drop down menu and much more. Later, I will also share some advanced properties of WordPress menu that many users are totally unaware of. Later in the video, I'll show you how you can add menus in the sidebar and widget area as well. Overall, this is an ultimate guide to create a menu in WordPress. I've also published an in-depth article on how to create menu in WordPress on my blog. You can also check this article. I'll provide the link in the description below. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any updates whenever I upload a new video. WordPress comes with a navigation menu system that makes it easier to create and manage menus. Depending on the theme you are using, the location of menu may vary. In this tutorial, I am using Blossom Beauty free WordPress theme, but the process to create the menu is same in all themes. Now, let's head over to the dashboard and start creating the menu. To create the menu, go to Appearance and click on Menus. This is the interface of menus and from here you can create the menu for your site. On the left hand side, you can see pages, posts, portfolios, custom links, categories and portfolio categories. Here the portfolios and portfolio categories are coming from the plugin that I am using. In your case, it may not be available. And if you have installed any other plugins that support custom post types, then you'll see those options as well. On the right hand side, you get an option to create the menu. Now to create your first menu, just type the menu name. And once you type the menu name, click on create menu. And now this will be activated. As you can see here, here are two options, auto add pages, which means that Whenever you create a page, it will be automatically added if I check mark this option. The other option is the display location. Depending upon the theme that I are using, the number of location may be different. In the theme that I am using, there are two locations, primary and secondary. I will show you where they will be displayed once I add the menu. Now let's add some pages to our menu. Here you can see the most recent pages that I have published. In view all, I can see all the list of the pages that I have published and if you don't find the page that you want to add, you can simply go to search and search for the page that you want to add. I'll just add some pages. So I'll add the shop and portfolio page and make a page. Once you have selected the pages that you want to add, click on add to menu and here the pages has been added. Now, in order to display the menu, you have to select the display location. So I'll just go with the primary one and click on save menu. Now when I refresh my website, you can see the menu is displaying on my site. Now let's look into other options as well. Along with pages, you can also add posts to your menu. So let's add some posts. Again, here you'll see the list of recent posts. In view all, you'll see all the posts that we have published. And if you have a long list of posts, you can also search for the post that you want to add. So let's add one post and click on add to menu. Now let's add some categories as well. So go to categories and here select the categories that you want to add. So in my case, I'll add just two categories and just click on save now when i refresh my website you'll see the menu has been updated with the post and categories in addition to this you can also add custom links in the menu so for example if you want to link to another website like appointment site or social media profile then you should use the custom link option so let's add a custom link so here you can specify the URL and here you'll add the link text. So let's 
create a home button that takes us to the home page so i'll just copy this url and here i'll paste it and here i'll type the text home and add to the menu and as you can see here i have successfully added the custom links now let's save our menu and refresh our website and you can see the home has been added to the menu at this point you have successfully added the necessary menu items by default when you add a menu items it opens at the end as you can see but you can arrange the menu items in the order you want to change the position simply drag and drop the menu item wherever you want so let's arrange this menu and once you are done just click on save menu and when you refresh your website the menu order has been changed in wordpress you can also create drop down menus drop down menus also known as nested menus can be used to represent the hierarchy or group similar menu items the process to create a drop down menu is very simple to create a drop down menu simply drag the menu item below the parent item and slightly drag it to the right here i want to put portfolio under trends so just select trends and push it to the right and it snaps then i can also put makeup under trends and if i want to put shop under makeup items all i have to do is drag to the left and as you can see there is a outline once i leave here it will automatically place this item now let's save the menu and refresh our website and here you can see under trends we have portfolio makeup and under makeup we have shop you can create multiple layer of shop menus by nesting the menu items however i suggest you not to exceed more than two layers as most team doesn't support it plus it makes too complicated to navigate now let's learn how you can delete and rename the menu items by default when you add menu items like post pages or categories in navigation menu wordpress automatically uses the page title post title or category name as the link text in some cases you may not want to display at it is and change as per your need you can simply change the link text with the custom text without affecting the link so in my case if i want to change home i can go and change this one home page and if i want to change this design to any other names i can also change here please note that this will only affect in the appearance of the menu it will not affect the category itself similarly this post title is very long so i'll just go with a shorter version and now when I save this menu and refresh my site, you can see the changes has happened. And if I click on this post, you can see that the post title is still same but the menu is different. Same goes with the designs. We have only changed the designs in the menu but the category name is still design. Now. If you want to delete any menu items, the process is very simple. Just click on this arrow and remove the item that you want to remove. Now if I want to remove this, I can click on remove and once you are done, just click on save menu and you can refresh your site to see the changes. So as you can see here, designs has been removed from the menu. As mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, this theme support two display location. So we have successfully created the primary menu. Let's go ahead and create the secondary menu as well. The process is similar just like the primary menu. Let's click on create a menu and give the title of this menu. You can give any name to your menu. And once you have added the name, let's click on create menu and in this menu i'll just add some categories so i'll just select all the categories add to the menu and i'll select the display location secondary and click save menu 
and go to my website and in this theme the secondary menu displays here so when I refresh the website the secondary menu is displaying here so this is how you can create menu for different location in the theme that you're using now I'll talk about the menu properties in WordPress that many users are totally unaware of you can set the link target add CSS class description title attributes and link relationship to enable this advanced property go to screen option and here you can see the advanced menu properties so just tick mark the option that you want to use the first option is link target title attribute CSS classes link relationship and description in my case I'll just go with link target CSS class and description and once you are done just close this and when you expand your menu you will see those options so as you can see here here I get an option to open the link in a new tab I can add the CSS class and I can also add the description that displays around this menu item this is totally dependent upon the theme that you are using some theme may support this description whereas some theme may not support this description let me show you when this feature comes handy let's suppose that you want to add your appointment page link in the menu but you don't want to open that link in the same tab so in that case you can use the link property so let's go to our menu and here i'll go with the custom links and here i can add my appointment page link and I can give the link text and add to the menu now save the menu and I can refresh my website and let me show you first what happens when you add the menu in a normal way when I click on this link it will refresh the browser in the same tab as you can see here it opens and it takes my reader away from my site so let's avoid that scenario so let's return back to our site and we have enabled the advanced menu properties and we can open this link in a new tab I have to select this option open link in a new tab and just click on save menu and when I refresh my website and click on this link again it will open the link in a new tab so this is when this advanced property comes handy if you know CSS you can also add CSS class to stylize the menu item so let's add some CSS class and tweak the styling of that menu item I'll just add a class appointment and save the menu go to customize go to additional CSS and here I can select the class that I have added and here I can just add whatever style I want to add so let's do some styling to this menu item in this way you can style the menu items using custom CSS after adding the class to the menu item now let's explore the menu locations it is same as display location and here you'll find the list of supported menu locations so here you can see primary and secondary at any moment if you want to swap the position of primary and secondary menu you can do it from here so I can just select secondary menu to use as primary menu and I can just select primary menu to use in place of secondary menu and when I click on save changes and refresh my site you can see the menu position has been successfully changed let's revert it back if your theme supports more than one location and if you don't want to use menu in all the location you can simply go with the select a menu option and it will remove the menu from that place so when I refresh my site you can see the menu is gone now let's learn how you can add navigation menu in sidebar and widget area WordPress menus are not just limited to a specific theme location you can also add menus in the sidebar and other 
widget area using the navigation menu widgets. For example, you can create a menu with privacy policy disclaimer about a sector and add it in the footer or sidebar. You may also want your readers to visit your social profile. So in that case, you can use the navigation menu to add them in the sidebar and widget areas. To add the widget, go to widgets and scroll down till you see navigation menu widgets. So here is the navigation menu widget. Simply click on this arrow and here you get an option where you can add the menu. So here is the sidebar, here is the footer 1, footer 2, footer 3 and footer 4. This is common in most themes whereas this may not be common. So depending on the theme you are using, this option may be slightly different. So let's add a menu in the sidebar. Click on add widget. And here you can give a title to your menu. And from the drop down list, you can select the menu that you want to use in this sidebar. So let's create another menu. So for now just save it and we'll create another menu. Go to menus and I can just click on create menu. You can create as many menus you want. So simply click on create menu. So I just forgot to save the menu. Now click on create menu and now I'll just create a footer menu, click on create menu and once you are done just click on save menu. Now let's return to our widgets and refresh this page. Now on the navigation menu you will see more options. So let's add important links in the sidebar. Now click on save and scroll down and here you can see the important links. I have also created a tutorial on how to add widgets in sidebar and footer. I will provide the link in the description below. Now let's add the menu in the footer as well. So return to your widgets and use the same navigation menu. In this case I want to add in footer 2. Click on add widget and here I can select the menu that I want to use. So in this case I will go with footer menu and I will give a random title here. Now click on save and refresh your site. As you can see here, we have successfully added the navigation menu in footer area as well. This is all about creating menus in WordPress. A well-structured navigation menu makes it more accessible for your readers to navigate through your site. Your visitors can easily find the content they are looking for. It also improves the user experience and increases your conversion rate. I hope you find this video helpful and you learn how to create menu for your WordPress site. If you find this video helpful, please like the video and hit the subscribe button so you never miss any of my new videos. If you have any question or feedback, do let me know in the comments below.